Hi, I'm Chris from Oxford in the United Kingdom. I've been teaching economics in Hangzhou for about three years. Now I'm going to introduce China's famous Longjing Tea. It is often said that we cannot live without the seven daily necessities every day. Firewood, rice, oil, salt, soy sauce, vinegar and tea. Which illustrates that drinking tea has become an important way of life for people. If Zhejiang is called the province of green tea, Longjing Tea fully deserves the title Queen of the Green Tea. This green, fragrant, sweet and gorgeous tea beauty is from the Longjing Mountain near Westlake. Records about Longjing Tea first appeared in the classic of tea written by tea saint Lu Yue. The two temples in Qiantang, Hangzhou, Tianzhu and Lingyan produce tea, the book reads. Originally, Sha Tianzhu in Hangzhou produced Shanglin tea and Bai Yun Peak in Shang Tianzhu produced Bai Yun tea. Longjing tea didn't exist until the Song Dynasty. According to historical records, it was a monk named Bian Chai who made Longjing tea famous. In the Northern Song Dynasty, the monk was good friends with Su Dongpo, who was the mayor of Hangzhou at that time. They often tasted tea and composed poems together. In his old age, Bian Tai wanted to find a quiet place to spend the rest of his life, so he crossed the mountains and got to a small, shabby temple on Lion Peak. A mountain spring near the temple flowed into the well there, and the ancients thought the well was connected with the sea in which there were dragons. So this well was called Longjin, or Dragon Well, and the temple was entitled Longjin Temple. Fond of drinking tea, Bian Tai led the monks to reclaim a tea plantation and Longjin tea was gradually known by the local people. In Qing Dynasty, people said that the fragrance of Longjin tea was like that of beans. Its delicate and light tea fragrance, as well as its refreshing and brisk flavour, attracted a steady stream of people to Hangzhou to taste it. It was said that Emperor Qianlong visited Longjin village four times. The famous Westlake Longjing tea is produced in the forests surrounding Longjing Temple and Longjing Water. The Westlake is surrounded by mountains on three sides. Tea trees are planted in the mountains, along the road and behind the houses. According to the Chinese solar terms, after the spring equinox is pure brightness followed by grain rain. It's a good time to pick tea before these three solar terms when the tea mountains are full of tea fragrance day and night. To produce 500 grams of superior Longjing tea, 30,000 to 40,000 tea buds are needed, and it takes four tea farmers one day to pick them. Nowadays, the Westlake Longjing tea has uniform packaging and logo. All the tea produced by the Westlake Longjing will be uniformly pasted with the logo of this origin. Scanning the QR code, you can immediately know which tea farmer makes the tea, and whether it's authentic Westlake Longjing tea or not. According to different picking times, frying methods, varieties and producing areas, the prices of Longjing tea are different. If you want to have a tea tour in Hangzhou, you must not miss the China Tea Museum on Longjing Road. It's the only national museum with a special theme of tea and tea culture in China. There, in the exhibition hall, you can learn almost everything about tea, from tea history, tea ceremony, tea set, to tea making process and customs. The museum is surrounded by tea gardens and more than 100 Chinese characters for tea in the calligraphy of over 100 famous people in past dynasties were engraved on the walking path and even the plants in the garden are all related to drinking. The museum is really full of strong tea culture atmosphere. Hangzhou people always like to stroll there in their spare time and drink tea in the green mountains and waters. Every March, due to spring breeze, spring rain and spring tea, the original quiet Longjing Tea Village is especially lively. You can ramble in the small tea village around the West Lake with your families and friends on a sunny day. On one side is a mountain of tea shrouded in mist, on the other side are tea houses. The Chinese characters West Lake Longjing, or tea, can be seen at the door of almost every house. Some of the doorways are covered with freshly picked leaves. Occasionally on the road you can meet tea farmers carrying fresh tea leaves down the mountain. You can choose a tea house to sit down and make a cup of Longjing tea with a transparent glass. Watching the leaves float and dance in the glass, you'll be intoxicated by their lifelike beauty. Hangzhou, Huan Ning.